You don't, uh, you don't want to take another ship? Uh, I don't think I'd like to command another ship after having had this ship. I'd rather finish with this one, I think, and go out with her in all her glory. But you think the great liners like this will disappear? Well, I think the great liners will disappear as such. I think it's the end of an era of these very big ships. You think there'll ever be another ship like this built? Never. I'm so that I am certain of. And so, on the 22nd of September, 1967, the Queen Mary left New York on her last Atlantic voyage. It was her thousand and first crossing. When my father left the Queen Mary, he left a part of his life behind, a large part of his life, I think, because not only was it the Queen Mary, but it was also his life at sea. My father was not generally one to show emotion, particularly in front of his children, but we were well aware that he was struggling. It was a very emotional time for him. I'm always very sorry to see a very nice ship end its days, but it's inevitable, of course, that both ships and us have a, have a time limit, and the day must come when, we, when we, we go. And this applies to ships as much as to human beings. For the captain, they do get very, very attached and emotional about not only the, the ship with all its peculiarities in some cases, but it is their home, don't forget, for many months of their life. Ships take on a particular character. To come to a final end is, is always emotional when you have something that's become part of your family. We were happy to know that the ship had been sold to Long Beach as opposed to being something like scrap metal or razor blades, as we used to call it. I think you can say that most of us on board were very proud of the ship and the sort of warmth the Queen Mary had. After a period of time on that ship, it's like your home. It is your home. They all knew she was going, but they hadn't expected it so soon. To us personally, been in the ship 21 years. It's the same as you losing your home more or less at home. It's a great loss to us. Ah, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Hope I see you in good health tonight. Yeah. And I hope good appetite. The Queen Mary was on her way home from New York for the last time. It was a voyage that all those fortunate enough to make will never forget. In a pattern set by her, she made for Southampton, as she'd done a thousand times before. In just a few moments from now, the Queen Mary will begin her final transatlantic crossing from Southampton. Thank you. Is that Mr. Alan Kent? This is uh, Jerry Dalton here, Alan. I want now, we are all ready now to uh, deliver the ship to the city of Long Beach. Well, I'm very proud, actually, to be captain of her on this very last voyage and have been captain of her for the last two years. But naturally, we're all a little sad here that this is the end of her as far as we're concerned in the Cunard Line and all my crew that have been here for so long. You get attached to a ship once you've been a certain time in it, particularly if she's a very happy ship, and this one has been. Is it perhaps, in a perfect world, a pity that the Mary is a dead ship now? that she doesn't any longer sail the Great White Way. Dear sir, the Queen Mary is not a dead ship in any such <laughs> way. She is alive. When people come aboard, it's a living, a living, beautiful testimony to Clyde Bank and to the great work that uh, has been given. We left England on the 31st of October. We had a terrific send-off from Southampton, and not only was it raining from the skies, but there was far more coming down the cheeks of the British people who waved us and cheered us goodbye. 
When the Queen Mary left our shores for the last time, I think we were all feeling very sad. Just the feeling that you'd never see those three funnels coming back up the Southampton water again. And I had a sinking feeling because she'd been part of our family. The voyage itself was in total 35 days. The city of Long Beach had already earmarked Saturday the 9th of December, so it became quite a critical time scale to fit those 35 days in. I think everyone was very keen on enjoying it as much as they could. I would say the party actually reached its crescendo on that last night before we arrived into Long Beach. The arrival in Long Beach was absolutely unbelievable. The whole sea was alive. They had gone into a whole range of different ports. They had gone round Cape Horn. They had travelled 14,000 nautical miles. And finally, they would come to the end of an era of a great liner. She has finished sailing the oceans, and from henceforth, it marks the end of this great vessel as a ship.